So the sketch is done, and now we're gonna just get straight into the painting. Lovely, lovely, lovely afternoon. Let's get in with the sky. Beautiful sky today. Lots of clouds flying around. Think about the design that we want here. And obviously, the paint's going to dry super fast. So something to bear in mind on a sunny, slightly windy day. Just pop in some water. There are a few kind of greyish type clouds in there. But predominantly blue today. We'll keep this quite light here because we've got the lightest lights and darkest darks. Going over there, let's pop in some beautiful cloud shadows coming in now. Yeah, this distant, middle distant field. Pop that in. And then in the foreground, we'll underpin this again with this raw, raw sienna. Just getting it in quickly, no messing. Tip of the brush, following the lines. Encouraging the eye to go, keep retain some of these light patches in here. Not too many, but just to give a bit of sparkle under there. And that's the first part of the painting done. Super fast. Wait for this to dry and we can work on stage two. Now while this is all drying off here, um, we're going in for this blue-gray mixture, ultramarine and Payne's gray. And while this is still damp, we can work in on this, let it blend and bleed a little bit. Pop in the horizon. Big tree line there, going all the way across. Bit of clear water. It's all not dry at all. This number 12 round brush. Some very, very dark shadows. Down here. Just pop that in. Let that do its own thing. Again, dark shadows in here. And again, we'll just let it do its own thing. Clear water. More clear water, just taking out some of this. I'm just gonna move this board up a little bit and encourage it to go back the other way. super super fast it will that's all dry the sky so we can start to work in quite quickly going to a number six um, going with our burnt umber touch of this mixture that we already had here to darken this up remembering these paints will dry off super fast just 
pop in some of these trunks and branches. Get them in. Darker mixtures. The light's coming in from this direction, so need to bear that in mind as we're painting. And then we'll bring in some of this finer brushwork. ends and the twiggery. Just join these up here a little bit. Very hot today. Warming up, 20 degrees. Same. While we're there, we'll pop in some of this fence in. And go into the number two of Skoda. Look how quickly this paint has dried here on the palette for the sunshine. So we have to work super fast. before everything dries off. And it really is drying quickly. Never really lavishly follow the pencil marks. Obviously we've got the source in front of us so I can see the tree. Just getting the feel of that really. Mixing up the tonal values. to do that. It's a little bit too blue. I'm just going to totally take that down a bit. It's a bit too strong there. There we go. A bit of tissue in there, sorts that out. Just really coming in now with some uh, neat paint. Just trying to thicken out some of these branches here and the trunk. Pop in some dry, dry brush. Clear water and a 
running. Just on the shadow work here. We've got greens in here as well. Darks and lights. I'll just pop those in. Suggestion of grasses, like a hedge here. Very similar back in here. When the sun comes out, wow. Some fantastic greens in this background. So we'll pop those in, get inspired by those. This cad yellow is such a powerful colour, but we'll go pop that, pop that in. Quite opaque as well. Put in some darker notes down here because they're all happening. In the background. Let that run. Let these greens run, keep this quite indistinct here. And there's a big old cloud shadow coming in here. We'll pop that in, ultramarine, whatever we had over there, plus our crimson. in here pop those in getting close to the end now some more of this original mixtures that are in here ultramarine crimson bits of leftovers that we had board up so it doesn't all run in there. Punk in some blues, some reds, some pinks. Let it all do its own thing. Move the board around a bit. There we go. Just need to strengthen up this one here. and trying to retain the light and that's all dry get rid of this shadow mixture let's get rid of this and we'll come in with some foliage Cagello Ultra the yellow old truck. It's a brush on the side, look. Just on the tips here. It's really where it's happening. Just breaking through. It's a late flowering tree, this one. in a few yellowy notes as they're coming in. Now I think this tree here must be dead. I can't see any foliage on it. But it's quite a nice foil to come across. 
so I'll pop that in. With this number two brush. Straight really just um, burnt umber. I might mix up a little bit of Payne's Grey for just for variety really. And we've actually done. Just darken this off here. It's still quite damp. Helps to push back some of these. location here. So calm and quiet. And that's pushing that back. Final thing, waiting for this to dry off so it can't be a final thing. This is quite a nice dry. Nicely dry. We'll scratch in a couple of Highlights leading the eye towards the tree. And a very dry brush. Some sort of tracks. Leading the eye in. This is where we want the, the viewer's eye to go, is just here. I don't need too much of that. I do need some variation in tone though. A few bits and bobs in here, a bit dry. Dry brushwork. We wet that a second. Just go scratch in that. Scratch in there for a highlight. And I think we're done. Just gonna darken up the shadow side of this tree. Slightly. And this one slightly. That's it. Stop fiddling. That's it. Job done. So we'll take the tape off, see what we've got. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Remember to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, set that all up for the regular content. Painting out here in beautiful rural Norfolk, Norfolk even, rural. Let's take off this final piece of tape. We'll get there in a second. Super fast drying today out in the sun, 
go. Bring the camera around, have a look at that. And there we go. Happy painting, guys, happy painting.